in the forest in eastern Connecticut with park ranger Tim. So Tim, what kind of trees are these? These are hemlock trees. They can grow to be about 100 feet tall and a couple hundred years old. In the Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee, they can be up to 500 years old and grow up to be over 170 feet. They provide birds, plants, and animals with a unique habitat. The trees are found near streams and rivers where they provide shade and that cools the water and the salt. So what exactly do people use them for? We use them for wood pulp and lumber, but mostly in landscape. What is that? That is like a hemlock oil delta. It's a non-native pest from Japan, therefore it has no natural enemy. It was discovered in Virginia in the 1950s and has spread from Georgia to the southern part of Maine. It's been in Connecticut since about 1985. So what are you doing? I'm feeding them the top of the hemlock tree. And when I'm done, I'm going to leave about 300 eggs. What's all this white stuff? Why do you think I'm called wood? I make this wonderful white wood stuff for my eggs. It helps them to keep on the trees and they can start them right away. So is that bad for a tree? That tree will die within four to six years unless we do something about it. How can we help get rid of these pests? Right now, insecticides and insecticide soaps are being used on the trees. The ladybugs from Japan that only eat the adelgid are being tested in certain areas to see if that can reduce their population. But I have another idea. We need the bug bombs. Yes, we have a problem. Come right away. Tell me that. Come right away. What is that? This is a vortex tube. What does it do? Well, it uses compressed gas, which goes in here, and it starts spinning it like a tornado. It separates into hot and cold air streams. The hot air stream comes up this side. It can be as hot as 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And the cold air stream comes up this side. It can be as cold as 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold enough to kill the legs of you. The adelgids are susceptible to late season cold snap in February or March. The problem in Connecticut is that winter climate never gets cold enough to wipe out all the insects. If we could lower the air temperature in 80 to 40 degrees, that would kill the hell out of the adult. Can the bug busters do that? Absolutely. I'm powering up the vortex tube. No! Okay, the tree's safe as hell. Wow, that works great. Can other communities use the vortex tube? Yes, it may not work on large trees with many branches, but it'll certainly work on small trees and ornamental shrubs. Just like this one. It may also work against the uh, mountain pine beetle, which is devastating forests out west in Canada. It has no moving parts and it's a chemical free way to kill the adelgids. Thank you to Park Ranger Tim and to the Bug Busters. And if you've got prop butts at home, call the Bug Busters at 555-4243. Now back to Olivia in the studio. Skype to California, 
and we showed them how to do We Skyped a team in California and showed them how to gear a robot because theirs wasn't geared at all. It was just ran straight off the motor. And we're in touch with a team in uh, British Columbia. And you did what with the team in British Columbia? No, we're just in touch with them. Oh, like, okay. We're emailing them and sharing. Got it. Please. Your solution, is it easy to gain access to, or? They cost around $400, but you could probably get one if you seriously want it. And you probably need a big one to kill the things on large trees. Yes. And if you really want to, you could probably just rent one of them for a small amount of time. Just yeah. to get rid of it. Do you know where you could possibly go down? Get to know. Get to know. Get to know. Also, some local engineers might have them that are